I'm definitely been laying in the bed a few times, fucking with Viagra. Like, please, God, don't let it go out like this. Can't be drinking alcohol and Viagra, especially. I mean, but you got to do what you got to do. You got to just... Uh... Wow, man. <laughs> Highway <laughs> to the danger zone. I swear. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. What's up, dope? It's your boy. <laughs> It's the motherfucking Denny Brown show, live from Austin, Texas. God damn it, man. They be saying, they see, you know all the YouTube rules. They say you can't cuss in like the first yeah, man. couple of minutes or some shit. They're changing that shit. Yeah, they changed it, bro. It's over right now. Yeah, be careful, man. The whole YouTube streets is, is dog, the feds is on the YouTube streets right now, man. Hell this yeah. shit is not looking good, man. Yeah, all that Matrix shit, man. Man, I got the motherfucking tan man Superman with me, man. This nigga Jamari, man. What's up, man? What's going on, Danny? Dog, thank you for having me on, man. Dog, thank you for coming through, man. I've been watching your shit for a minute, man. I appreciate that. Dog, 2023, man. You you got some resolutions and shit? Uh, Just trying to get healthier. I think for a couple of years, I that was like kind of be... unhealthy and shit. But... What do you mean? Like far as food and shit? Hell yeah. <sighs> See, y'all got that good ass. Y'all got the fire shit, though, man. Like I'm saying, it's, it would be hard for me, man. If I had like a... Fucking Mexican girlfriend or some shit like that, just making <laughs> fucking, uh, you know what I'm saying, burritos and shit every day, man. I would, I would say one thing, man. This is what I was thinking about recently, though, because I, I, I was, uh, you know, I, I got me a Traeger grill and shit. So I always been in the backyard. I be grilling and shit. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I, you know, I'm from Michigan, man. One thing I, I figured it out, like, we eat a lot of hot dogs, you know, because we got like a Coney dog situation and all that shit. So I eat hot. It's just enemies. So I eat hot dogs and shit, man. But I don't like. How they turned to, you know, they gave the hot dog the glizzy. Yeah. And then they made it like, it's gay to eat a hot dog and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. niggas looking at you crazy. And I was thinking about it, like, you eat a hot dog like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know nobody suck dick like this, man. <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? So where did that come from? But motherfucker eat a burrito in public like it ain't no thing. And you two-fisted that motherfucker. That's going true, to try. Yeah, You get what I'm saying? How the burrito is not gay, but the hot dog is. Yeah, the hot dog got super gay, man, all of a sudden. I mean, I know why, though, because it's cartels and shit, man. You make burritos <laughs> gay, niggas go come through shooting shit up. So they just left that shit alone. Hot dogs ain't got no demographic. <laughs> hot dog is just like a nasty motherfucker, man. You get what I'm saying? Like, who, who fucking, what? You get what I'm saying? Like, there's no one, they're just like, I guess that's just American food, huh? That's why they look at us like dummies. Like other countries and shit. Like, y'all niggas eat hot dogs and hamburgers, man. I can't wait to go to war with y'all niggas, man. Yeah, and like all the fast food and shit. Like I hear the fast food over in like Tokyo and all these other places is like much better. I had never had um, any fast food. In, I mean, in um, any Asian country. I only been. I went to China for a day. Mm. I think I'm the only person that done that. Like a fucking idiot. I mean, I really at the end of the day, I feel like I was really immature in those days. That was <laughs> earlier in my rap career because I used to be on that bullshit. Like man, I ain't going nowhere where I can't smoke no weed. Oh, yeah. If you're getting locked up for smoking weed and shit, man, I ain't going out there. So, man, but now I feel stupid, man. Like, once COVID happened, I was sitting around like, man, I had a chance to go here yeah, and there. Yeah. And I ain't go there because of a drug. That's a fucking, <laughs> that's a crackhead. That was real crackhead moves right there, man. But, so yeah, so I went to China for one day with vans and shit. And, but they didn't, I didn't eat no fast food. They gave me, like, um, I had an ill ass seafood boil out there. I ain't know they did that shit out there, man. Like, I was eating, like, chicken feet. Just all the yeah, type of wild, man. nasty shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, I heard they be eating some, some crazy shit over there. It was actually fun though, man. But but the fucked up part was I was like, I can't smoke weed out there. I ain't gonna smoke weed. So it was cool. I ain't gonna smoke weed for a day. But actually, nigga, that's all I did the entire time. They fucking bought like the entire floors of like the hotels and shit. Then they had like securities and shit like at the door and shit. And it was like, if they come in, catch us smoking weed, I'm just gonna pay them off and shit. Like, I don't know if I should be <laughs> saying shit like this. <laughs> Actually, when we got back, my fucking DJ got locked up. This nigga had a fucking case in like Philly or some shit. They yeah. gave this, this nigga was in Rikers Island, River Rikers Island. <laughs> that shit was fucked up. Yeah. All right, man, we're going to get into some of these motherfucking ex Dannys, man. So, yeah, man. But yeah, I, I've been seeing that, man. Motherfuckers been saying that YouTube shit is going crazy right now. Like, it's some federal. You mean like the change of the rules and yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that just like, um, 
2023 effect like a shit just yeah bro i feel like every once in a while i don't know if like something bad happens but they they gotta change up the rules and like make it a little safer for a little bit and then they'll like go back to then they get back i mean youtube used to be wild in the beginning man like like the early days man i used to be saying niggas get beheaded and all type of shit on youtube man. yeah all that shit was monetized too for real hell yeah making that making fucking money off all that you can say whatever you wanted to Damn, man. That was when the streets, man. So you, if everybody just, if you just knew, man, that's one thing I wish I just really knew, man. Like, that's why I respect all, like, the early niggas that was doing the commentary and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. I really respect y'all niggas. Because it's hard as, like, if you try to do that shit right now, it's like, nigga, it's a rap. <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? You can't just start. I mean, you got to be somebody. I guess you got to have, like, a name or somewhere. Someone would care about your opinion. But just the fact that you could just sit there, a motherfucker, just any average individual and a motherfucker could just cut their camera on and just talk some shit and tell you how they feel about some shit and actually gain a following off that shit. And motherfuckers care about what this regular nigga, you know what I'm saying? Not to say a motherfucker's regular, but you know what I'm saying. No, I feel you, man. But that that's that's amazing to me. And, I, and to be honest, it is kind of like a talent. And it's kind of like breeding motherfuckers that could really have like, because to be honest, it's kind of like having like a late night talk show. Yeah, exactly. type of type of deal. You get what I'm saying? I think so. Because even somebody yeah. like you, like your early videos to where you at now, like you can see a motherfucker just get better at it. That time progress, time yeah, progress. Sure, where, you man. know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just like anything else, man. You put in more time and more effort, and you kind of like get to knowing what you're doing after a while. Yeah, I just seen that last shit. You've been talking about the Logan Paul shit. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I can't say I ain't gonna say nothing bad about Logan Paul because they be sending me um, free cases of Prime. <laughs> I ain't sponsored, but that shit tastes like Kool Aid. You know I'm a nigga. So they got that grape, that grape. And plus, as a nigga that drinking shit, man, you knock one of them primes out before you go to bed, wake up, knock another one out. That shit'll help with your hangover, man. So No, nah, that prime's pretty good. That prime will help you out, man. Good. I don't know about the ice pop one. That one a little too crazy for me. <laughs> but the grape and the, the red one, I'm a nigga, man. The, 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 the grape one and the red one, them bitches be hitting. All right, all right, here we go. Ask Danny. Two girls left me. Hey, Danny, in the last two years, two fine-ass, big-titty, big-booty women have left me. They both told me I asked for too much in a relationship. In the meantime, I had my first hooker-slash-handjob experience <laughs> <laughs> after a massage and even got my butthole licked by this thick black chick. But I still can't get what they said off my mind. Do you have any advice? What you mean? What they? I'm, I'm a little lost. What do you mean? I can't get what they said off my mind. What did they say? <laughs> they said he asked for too much in the relationship. Oh, I mean, yeah, he wanted his booty licked by um thick black chick. So, I mean, uh, I mean, to me, I don't know if you need any advice from me. It sounds like I need uh, to get some advice from you, man. It sounds <laughs> like you having an amazing time. You're getting your ass licked, hand jobs. You had two big titty, big booty women. So I'm pretty sure you can get that back. You know what I'm saying? You got any advice for this nigga, Jamari? Because... I mean, where I he, mean, where he, he sounds goes like, to like I want to hang with him, to be honest. He went to like a little rub and tug situation. That nigga went on rub maps. And got his ass ate. <laughs> and got his ass ate. Man, the best ones, I mean, I, I it's, it's like Australia, because they just like everywhere, you know. And, and at one point in time, I was like, man, I'm just, I'm really sore. You know, on this <laughs> long flight, I really just want to get a massage. Honestly, this was really what, this really was the deal. It looked nice. So I go up in there, man, and, uh. You know, she made me take a shower first. I'm like, all right, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know if I took a shower first before I had a massage, but so I took the shower, but I knew what it was when I got to the room and it was like the regular massage table, but it had a hole where your dick go at. <laughs> so you lay on this table and you put your dick in a hole and she be busting you down. Then every now and then she just reach up under that motherfucker and hit you with something. Ah, 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 ah. And just crazy, kept going. Man. Ah, ah, ah. It was. Five out of five, man. It was five out of five review, man. Yeah, you never get scared like fucking feds. Their feds are going to just No, it's legal. In. It's illegal in Australia. Oh, okay. Yeah, they got like brothels and all type of shit, man. Oh, shit. But, I mean, yeah, Australia with the shits, man. And yeah, they're um, living right over there. God it's damn. some fine ass, big titty, big booty women out there too. <laughs> but um, Australia, man, only thing, man, I always looked at Australia like, man, that's a place where I can live at, man. But the wildlife kill your ass out there, man. You see what the spiders look? You ever seen the flying bat? I mean, the fucking... Uh, the motherfucking, um, what the fuck they call them motherfuckers, man? God damn it, man. They got these, um, but yeah, man, in Australia, man, um, I was staying at this one hotel and it was just, we was outside on the balcony and it's just a shit ton of bats. Just <laughs> literally flying just everywhere, just bats, everywhere, bats, bats. And they say the motherfuckers that hit you, like, 
It'll hit you and get stuck in your head. You ever seen that shit? <laughs> like a bag gets no. stuck in your hair. Like if it hits you in the head, it's gonna get stuck in your hair because it got some sticky shit. And you gotta get that motherfucking cut out. Can you I don't I mean die. God, just damn. die. Just die right there, man. <laughs> a bag gets stuck in my head. I'm just I'm a wish for death. I'm a wish for death, man. I swear to God. All right, man. But yeah, man. Australia got the rubbing tugs for you. <laughs> Superman dick down. Where, where is this going, man? Y'all <laughs> niggas be picking these bitches, man. Hey, Danny, oftentimes you talk about really making sure you lay it down. I mean, I mean, you don't want to. I mean, my name Danny Brown. I can't have no bad. Even though I ain't going to lie, it was a time in my life where it was nothing but bad dick going down. Because <laughs> that was my Adderall phase. Okay. That was my Adderall phase. And, um, you know, when you do Adderall, you don't eat. Yeah. You don't eat. And nutrients, you need nutrients for a boner. I didn't really know that. <laughs> In the beginning, I didn't really know what I'm saying. Like, you really need nutrients for a boner. So I used to be wilding out, getting drunk as fuck, taking Adderall, doing the other, all other type of drugs, too. That shit ain't helping. Next thing you know, you in a... Bro, I done been in a bathroom praying, like, looking at my dick praying, like, just trying to have a motivational speech with him. Like, of bro, course. Like, yeah. please, don't... Just not this time, man. Can you... Just one time, man. I swear. If you could really just work for me this one time, man. Yeah, that's the worst, man. That's shit. when you just got to start doing extra crazy shit. You start peeing on bitches and shit. Like, you can pee <laughs> on me too, fuck it. You just got to start doing shit to make her remember you so she can come back. But, but I'm telling you, when you come back, it's going to be strong. All right. So, <laughs> I also really laying, I also really laying it down on date night. But typically, the only PED I use is booze, and that's a slippery slope. Nigga, booze don't work. That shit just, yeah, yeah that's not. you worse. Drunk, drunk dick is, I mean, unless y'all both drunk. But if you ever um, been drunk as fuck and banged a sober chick, you can tell. Yeah, that shit's awkward. Man. Yeah, so you fucking up. <laughs> shit gets awkward real You just quick. fucking up. You doing shit too rough? Like, you can't. Do... All right. <laughs> He's like, why are you grabbing me like that? Damn. <laughs> Sometimes you get not drunk enough and there's no Superman dick. Sometimes you brown out and don't remember the whole act. Just wondering if you share your PED stack to ensure remembering the whole act while also fully laying down a Superman dick. We appreciate you, man. What you got to do, man? You got to just be prepping, man. That's what it is. You gotta you gotta be a prepper, man. It's like waiting on doomsday. Them type of doomsday niggas, man, that got they fucking um, bomb shelters and shit like that. That's how you gotta treat your dick, man. Any day it could go down, man. So you gotta always just be prepping for that motherfucker. But yeah, man, I, I'll say some um ashwagandha. If you you hit the ashwagandha every day, and that actually um works for your mental clarity too. I mean, I, I will say it just make you don't care about shit. For some reason, um ashwagandha, if you take it for like a few months. You just stop giving a fuck. You don't have no emotions no more. But you got a boner. <laughs> Every day you wake up, you have a boner. You got some maca. You can take some maca. That 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 works. Oh I mean. yeah, yeah. But man, just I mean, you want to be a real nigga, man. Them, them rhinos at the gas station. Them motherfuckers still hit hard too. <laughs> gas station pills. Yeah, them motherfuckers said they actually just made a liquid form, like a five hour energy. Yeah. They just say, but they say you only drink half that motherfucker on there, and you are gonna have a boner for a week. That motherfucker work. I took it in Chicago. My girl was like, "What's wrong? Your dick is crazy." <laughs> you think I'm crazy right now? I'm like, yeah. She didn't know I took that gas station. She know now, but she know she know I be PEDing it up. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking boosting your performance. I mean, ain't no um testing. Ain't no ain't no USADA. You don't think it's like steroids for your dick? I mean, I'm 40 years old now. Yeah. Once you get my age, you want the steroids for your dick. I'm, you get yeah, I'm sure, man. Yeah, I've seen advertisements for different shit. I wish, bro, Viagra's is the craziest shit. The only thing about um, Viagra's, man, I was just, my Viagra phase, man, that's when I was really, like, into, like, stimulants. I mean, you know, just other shit. And that shit, I've definitely been laying in the bed a few times, fucking with Viagra. Like, please, God, don't let it go out like this. Like, no. Praying, like, man, just trying to smoke mad blunts, heart beating fast as hell. Like, nah, with this bitch, they gonna catch bad. No. <laughs> I'm gonna die in this motherfucking hotel room, like, man, everybody gonna laugh at me. Yeah, I heard that shit be taking people out. Can't be drinking alcohol and Viagra, especially. I mean, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So you gotta just, uh. <laughs> right, man. Highway <laughs> to the danger zone. I swear. <laughs> Every time I take a Viagra, that's just, that song just started playing in my head. It's like, I know, it's like Top Gun. Like, I know what I'm about to do, man. All right. My bitch is bad, but part of me wants to be single. <laughs> Hey, Daddy, I probably had the best girlfriend I could ask for. She is thoughtful, kind, beautiful, and smart. I think that she is the perfect person to be in a relationship with, but at the same time, I kind of miss being a hoe. Don't we all? I think that's just about being a man, bro. Like, that's just what it is. 
I used to fuck all the bitches. Damn. A couple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. We got some cool niggas. This though, this show, now this one, man. We got some cool niggas watching the show, man. All right, man. I used to fuck all the bitches. And a couple nights ago, I went out to the bars and saw multiple girls to hook up with, or that I was trying to get with, and it made me think about how much fun that was. I'm worried that if I broke up with her, it would be a huge mistake, and I'd never find another girl like her. I also love being alone. And I think she is the kind of person that wouldn't mind being around me 24-7. It seems like our big difference is that she's very affectionate. I'm not so much. We've been together for almost a year. What should I do? Thanks, Aaron. Aaron, let me tell you like this. Nigga, you ain't the only nigga living. That's what every nigga think like that. This is every man. Well, it's me. Well, it's me. But, I, but I'm going to tell you like this, man. One thing about, man, bitches. I can't say it like that. But one thing is about, man, having a good girl or finding... Man, it's rare. It is rare, man. And I'm telling you, man, karma come to your ass, man. You fuck over um, a good bitch, man, you gonna, and then you're going to start realizing that you, gonna, you ain't going to get nothing but... I'm telling you, man, you're not going to get no good karma out of that man fucking up a good bitch. Sometimes, though, um, you know, if you just want to be a hoe, you don't really care about... And you like being alone and shit, so you don't really care about, you know... The actual, um, you know, the emotion side that come with it. Like, yeah. Because sometimes, man, I, it's not necessarily about me. Um, like, it's, uh, motherfuckers always think like um, a, a, a man that like to talk to a lot of different women and shit or just like, you know, a whole kind of motherfucker is just like a sexual thing. But no, I actually like being friends with girls. Yeah. Like, I learn a lot of shit from bitches. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, talking to them like... The type of shit they into, it puts you up on some shit, man, just to get their perspective about a lot of shit, man. I should have, to have female friends, man, I would say it will give you a lot of perspective. It's just the point, man. You always just fuck them. So <laughs> it's just hard to have them. You spend friend. enough time around them? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean, I think I just need to be with, like, I need to get, uh, no, I was about to say, like, hang out with, like, you know, like the stud, like an ill ass stud from Baltimore <laughs> that love WNBA and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Make a friend out of her, but then she too much like a nigga too. Next thing you know, you're going to get into it with her over some weed or something. Bitch going to try to fight you or some shit. I ain't got time for that. All right, but yeah. Breaking news Manscaped now sells beer products. That's right. They are once again revolutionizing men's grooming with the brand new Beer Hedger Pro Kick. From a beard trim to a fresh shave, the technology behind the Beer Hedger Pro Kit allows you to shape your signature beer look. Now you can finally use Manscaped products to make your drapes match your carpet by going to manscaped.com using Danny B for 20% off and free shipping. Now that's one thing I'm going to tell you about a beard, man. You really got to be on that. You got to be using it. You got to be washing it. You got to be combing it because you don't want your beards looking like your pubes because Manscaped can take care of that too. It's time to tame your mane. No one likes a weird beard. So say goodbye to all your stubble trouble with Manscaped's Pro Beard Kit. The coilless trimmer gives you 20 hair cutting lengths all with one guard. The kit also includes a titanium coated T-blade, beard shampoo and conditioner, beard oil, beard balm, and three free gifts. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code DannyB at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped.com and use code DannyB. Manscaped Beard Hedger, one stroke, one guard, 20 lengths. So what's your status like? You got a girl? Yeah, man. I mean, I've been in a long-term relationship for about three years. That's long-term? For me? I mean, I'm only 26. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, see, I'm fucked up, man. Um, My first high school girlfriend, I was with her for 10 years. And then I got Damn. another girlfriend after that. I was with her for 10 years. Damn, man. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah this, is, this is real long for me. It's by far my longest relationship. And now the girl I'm with now, I've been with her for like five. Oh, so when you pick them, you keep them. I mean, I was a hoe. I was there. <laughs> yeah, he was fucking around That's still. <laughs> That's how the shit lasted 10 but years. My whole face, I stopped. I really, I really will say that. And it's just, it's not necessarily, um, it's just I'm over it, man. I think that's my um, New Year's resolution. If I can bring, not, not saying, oh, like, oh, my New Year's resolution, yeah. stop being a hoe. I'm not saying that. I'm saying my New Year's resolution, just stop trying to be cool. Like, just really, just like, I'm not 20 years old no more. I can't be <laughs> fucking talking to bitches and sliding in DMs. And, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm 40 years old. You look crazy, man. You get what I'm saying? I have a 21 year old daughter. So now it's like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just really going to start acting like I'm still going to wear dumbass clothes and, and uh, play video. I'm still going. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's still who I am. But far as just like, still living that fucking, you know, I mean, it, just, it get hard when you, you know, get like some clout. 
Yeah. I think it's hard when you get caught. I remember one point in time, it's like, it was triggering. I, it wasn't me doing shit. I would try to be a good guy. I would wake up and just go in my DMs and pussy pics, <laughs> bitches busting it open. And it's triggering. You get what I'm saying? So, Well, and they know like you're like, Kind of like a sexual yeah, figure, so right? so 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 they fucking with me, man. Yeah, yeah, of course, they they fucking with me, man. So yeah, I've met a lot of bad people that took advantage of me. <laughs> you know, I'm a me too some bitches. <laughs> me too some bitches. Y'all bitches took advantage of my addiction, man. They took advantage. Of, they know I wasn't right. Y'all know I wasn't right. I was down bad. I'm I'm good now though, man. I met a nice girl, and she, you know, she um um. My girl's strict. That's what it is. I think I um I just can't um I can't date no um girl that mm-hmm. just let me do what the fuck I want to do. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna do that shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? My girl don't play that shit. She don't let me go nowhere. She don't let me. <laughs> she real. knows you. And but it's I mean, I have not um I've she's right. <laughs> not, yeah, yeah, she knows you too. Well, like man. I fucked shit. up so much, you know what I'm saying? Like she's not wrong. And you know, so it's good to have a little discipline in your life. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. I'm too old to have kids, so I can't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm too old for that. So we got a dog that's been holding me down. Like So I do everything but ditto now. That's what I've been doing the past fucking few weeks. I ain't been doing shit, but watching ditto ass, playing motherfucking, um, I got an um, NBA 2K, my era going. Oh, with, yeah. With, with Hell the, yeah. With the 76ers and 03 and 04. Yeah, that's cool, man. It's so fun. So you fuck with games a lot of shit? Oh, hell yeah. What you playing right now? Video game reviews. Uh, I love sports video games. So I've been oh yeah, playing. that's what I'm saying. I'm a sport video game motherfucker yeah, too. So a lot of people, man, I don't like this shit. They be trying to say like, um, motherfuckers that's just super into sports games. You can't really consider them to be real gamers. No, man. Yeah, you know. I don't like that shit, man, because I think like, um, uh, sport games. Uh, that's pretty much what got me into gaming, to be honest. Like, I remember I've been playing like basketball games like Lakers versus Celtics. Yeah, no, the me first too, like long ass Genesis cartridge. I mean, not, you know since, what I'm saying? not since that long, but yeah, long, <laughs> long time. I'm saying like I was the, playing literally. like uh, NFL 2K3 and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's 2K that's like, still better than Madden to this oh, day. Oh yeah, yeah, it's the best football game <laughs> to this day. All, time. All right. Shit, actually, man, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead just since we already talking about video games, man. Yeah, that was a bad mistake, any I, I seen you laughing last time when I gave out my Steam account. <laughs> I'm just like, this nigga stupid. Um, yeah, man, I was telling niggas to send me games and shit. I, I, I was trying to see, I was trying to get my scam on. I see all these other niggas scamming, but at least I'm not scamming my fans out of no crypto money. I'm just scamming them out of Steam games. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But niggas been sending me troll games the entire time, man. A nigga sent me, man, shower with your dad simulator. Oh, you mean like they're gifting you games? Yeah, but they all trolling, man. They just trolling me with games. Nigga sent me some Hitler game, man. <laughs> I'm like, dog, I can't have this shit on my computer, man. They gonna kick the dough in. <laughs> but yeah, I, I did download Shower with Your Dad Simulator and check that out. Because I'm like, who the fuck made a Shower with Your Dad game, man? And and how is this? I mean, maybe I was thinking too far. I was thinking, thinking a little too much about it, but... I love indie games, man, but shower with your dad, man. Y'all did wrong for that shit, man. <laughs> Y'all did wrong for that shit. They've been sending me porno games and shit. I ain't even know it was that many freaky games on Steam, man. Yeah, I had no clue about that shit. They're not good, though. I mean, it, did, it was this one pinball, this like hentai pinball. <laughs> and he was like aiming at the pussy, like hitting balls in the pussy and like doing shit. I ain't gonna lie, that one was kind of lit. The hentai pinball. That's crazy, bro. I didn't know they had that shit on Steam. <laughs> the hentai pinball was kind of fire, man. All right, all right. Here we go, man. Hey, Danny, big fan of the show. My husband told me, oh, we got a, we got a chick up in this motherfucker. That's right. Shots out to you, mama. Oh, my husband told me that the past couple of months he sometimes ejaculates a little when he poops. I told him we should talk to a doctor, but he refuses. He said he feels kind of good. <laughs> now, you ever heard of this? No, I ain't never heard of this, but I, but I think yeah, I know what he's doing. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? You might want to check his um, phones and porn history and emails and shit. I think this nigga taking dick. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's that. I'm sorry to tell you. Yeah, I thought that was like a, a blumpkin or some shit like Husband's that. Husband's gay. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Every now and then you take a shit and feel a little too good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know about that, but... I took a shit before and got a boner. <laughs> when you get a boner taking a shit, you're like, damn, man, I gotta start... I gotta get my life to God. That's when I start... Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's when you gotta give your life to Jesus, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? He will heal. All that shit, man. That's the fucked up part, man. I swear, um... 
But my New Year's resolution, man, I figured out, man, a way to um stop jacking off and watching porn, man. It's just if you just only just jack off the dead porn stars, you know, it uh it'll help. <laughs> it'll help you quit a little bit because you be jacking off watching it like, damn, this bitch gone, gone but not forgotten. You know what I'm saying? You be like, damn, how she go out? And then you know you start thinking about shit like, damn, this is what we got. This is all we got for this bitch to remember her by. Like, yeah, man, crazy. I know God ain't put her on the earth just to be out here, you know, taking anal darts. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had a better path for her, man. Where did she go wrong, man? Where did God? So, it's make you start thinking about shit a little deeper. So, if you want to quit jacking up, you want to start watching porn, just only jerk off the dead porn stars. So, you think porn is, like, timeless? Like, there will be, you know, like, in the future, people will watch porn that they're producing now? Or they'll, that shit will get vintage? Um, the thing about porn now, I just think it's just becoming... um. It's come, becoming too normalized because normal people are doing it now. You know, with the whole COVID shit and OnlyFans and every bitch in your fucking next door neighbor could be making porn. You get what I'm saying? Where yeah. before it was like, man, you you doing porn, like that's some dark underworld type shit. Like, how you even do that? Like, you know how many niggas was like, man, I want to do porn, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, it's, you can do that shit if you want to. You get what I'm saying? So, I yeah, think yeah. now it's just becoming way too normalized, man. And it's just, you know, so, but people are getting um addicted. People got addicted to porn now, man, and shit is fucked up. What do you mean, like in virtual reality and shit? No, I mean just when you're just doing, when it, when it's go too far, when it goes too far, when you know, because you got to think back in the day, it wouldn't been nothing like that, where like an old ass fat motherfucker just chilling at his crib, and he just spending all his money on OnlyFans bitches. Yeah. At that point, that's an addiction, man, when you're spending all your money and, and doing shit like that, like you fucking working to watch bitches play with that motherfucker. It's well, over. yeah, I mean, I feel like before people kind of got eased into porn, like, you might have a Playboy or have some, like, mm -hmm. naked pictures or some shit. And that was now, a big deal. But now, man, like, that was a big kids deal. are probably seeing some wild shit. I mean, because all these kids grew up with a phone or a computer Hell, in their yeah. bedroom, so if you yeah, wanted once, to see some crazy shit. Once you get shit, internet access, bro, it's it. Back in my, I told you, uh, I, ain't about to break, I ain't about to break back into the um, bootleg porn story. Y'all know what I was about to say, though. I think I told it about three times. But, all right, we're going to hop into some white people shit. White people shit. Um, hoodies with shorts. No, nah, nigga, that's style. I fuck with hoodies. That's that's um uh, warm as fuck, man. For some reason, man, the top, the top holds a little more heat than the bottom. I'm the only one that says that that feels that. But yeah, hoodie with shorts. That's what I'm kicking it in at the crib all the time. What's up, homie? Love the show and being part of why I met you in the park. I have the whitest of white people shit I think I knew of when it's forty. But oh, you talking about going outside? See, yeah, that's white people shit. Being in Michigan, um, yeah, you do see that. That's like some um Michigan State. Michigan white boy hoodie shorts sandals snow outside like nah that's uh you get hypothermia shit like that like I just um went to Chicago like being in Texas that's the thing you ain't never um been in like you no know, cold places and shit like that mm, nah not really to See, be honest with you you never owned a coat I mean shit <laughs> When it, gets to like, when it gets to like 50 here, that's cold for us. No, it is cold here. But I'm saying like a big ass fucking like. Oh, like a park. Uh, a park, park code a bubble shit. cold. Fuck like, no. oh, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, nah. and that shit is like, a, like Michigan. I'm from Michigan. So that shit's like a necessity. Like every year, like when it starts to get like, you thinking about what new coat you about to get. Like, this one point, I had so many fucking coats like Marmots, fucking Montclair's, North Face. Like, all that shit. Like, you want to try to see. Now they making the coats with the, um, with the, um, the battery power heat. Shit yeah, I seen that. Ooh, man. I had a hoodie like that, man. I just felt like that motherfucker was going to catch on fire, though. Yeah. Like, this shit don't seem smart. I got a battery pack in my, my pocket and all this shit, cutting this shit on. Like, this shit warm. I mean, it, it, it was cool and shit, but no. Nah. I, I I personally just settled for a Snuggie. <laughs> now, nah, if anybody want to not, nah, nah, I will, you know. Snuggies, man, that shit is hands down, man. It's one of the best gifts you can get. Give a motherfucker. It's one of the illest shit you can rock. They're making them cooler and that and shit. I might need to start dropping me some Snuggies for merch, man. Because I love them that much, man. You got to only um, fuck with products that you really fuck with. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way the shit work, man. You ever see a motherfucker trying to sell some shit you know they don't do? That was just like Liver King selling y'all nigga them supplements, man. That nigga was straight taking needles in the ass. <laughs> nigga talking about take this. Hell yeah. The supplement game is ill, though. That's one thing about the um, YouTuber fitness. YouTube, man, bro. I um So... Like you, like like you've been doing this shit for how long? You been doing YouTube? I mean, really since I was a kid, but now like for my job for about four years. Four years. Like, and when did you feel like it started to take off for you? Uh, 
when I started making more than minimum wage, I guess. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, See, yeah. honestly, I got up on you because the algorithm. You know, I watch a lot of rap shit, and and I think out of um, a lot of like YouTubers, commentary motherfuckers, they don't really cover a lot of rap shit. They don't really talk about rap shit. Yeah. So I think that's that's how I got up on your shit. Yeah, I make some of that shit in there from time to time. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying that's how I got up on your shit, and I'm like, oh, this nigga's dope. So I was watching your shit. So I be watching your shit all the time. So yeah, man. So uh, what I'm saying is though, like you know a nigga like. You know how this shit going. You know the ins and outs. You, you, yeah, it's the most important thing is like understanding that algorithm. Yeah, and, yeah. So you know the tricks and tips to get your shit cracking and shit. But so where you see it going like in the future? Like what does it look like it's happening? Like all the really short content is going to become like super important. Just like the YouTube shorts. Is gonna YouTube be. shorts, TikTok, whatever it's going to be. Like because you can see every single platform like they have their own yeah, version of yeah. TikTok and shit now. So... uh yeah, they think that's where it's going, and they're they're finally gonna start paying you for that shit next month. The YouTube Shorts. Yeah. Oh shit, that's dope. Yeah, man, TikTok fucks my brain up, man, because the algorithm is just too crazy. Yeah, it just feeds you, man. You like one, you like you for real, man. You like one video about a um a bitch doing squats or something, man. <laughs> next thing you know, man, you just got. <laughs> All the, I'm telling you, that the one rabbit hole that I went down, man. I'm like, man, I got to I gotta get this shit off my phone, man. It was the muscle-bound bitches, the, <laughs> the, the lean beef patties and all that shit. Once I started getting the, the muscle bitches, I'm like, oh, shit, man. I got to turn my life over to God, man. <laughs> I really need to. Because <laughs> it started making you think about shit, man. But yeah, man, I love the muscle bitches, man. Shouts out to y'all. Yes, is that what's on your timeline? Oh, I love it, man. I ain't gonna lie. I had to take it off my phone, man. But it do, I will say it is inspiring. And it did make me start working out and shit. I'm like, fuck that, man. She doing that? I got to, I mean, that, as dumb as that sound, though. No, some real shit, man. That's some real shit, man. But yeah, man. I, I couldn't imagine, though, man, being in a relationship with a girl with muscles, though. I mean, like, not... Like, no, I, not yeah, I know the type of muscles you're talking about. I ain't talking about the sneaky ones. I like the sneaky ones. That can put on a hoodie and you don't know what's going on. I'm talking about a bitch. She she got so much muscle, she ain't got no titties yeah, no she more. buffed up. <laughs> that motherfucking neck, the whole shit, like, ugh. And a bitch like this, like, ugh. And you go to Chipotle with the bitch. And you know everybody looking at y'all crazy, like, ugh. Yeah, that kind of shit. But I think they only date other muscle niggas, though. Oh, for sure. If they're like super buffed up like that, yeah, yeah, they're dating some big old fucking gorilla looking dude. I just want to see though. I just come on, man. Y'all got the muscle bitches, man. Y'all gotta open up y'all mind, <laughs> for real, man. I want to see a muscle bitch with just a skinny McDonald eating nigga. You know what I'm saying? But like, you do your thing, he do his thing, but we like each other. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's a lifestyle at that point, man. Yeah, look at him. I like it, man. Look at that bitch traps. Yeah, that's wild. I think it's hot. That first one's crazy. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. I think it's hot, man. I ain't going to lie, man. Oh, man. Damn. But it's fucked up, man. That bitch put you in a headlock. Yeah, you done. Her a thigh lock. Oh, man. Look at that one. That's what I'm talking damn. about. That one like that. You walking in public with this bitch right here. With the black right here. God, look at that stomach. She look like Liver King with a wig on. <laughs> you walking around with Liver King with a wig on, man. At part two, I'll be like, man, it might be easy to cheat. Because you can tell other bitches, like, man, that's my bodyguard. That's my security. Yeah, I mean, if that's the shit you into. I got to turn my life over to God. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, you, you got some soul searching to do. <laughs> I got to turn my For life sure. over to God. But yeah, they go lean B. Patty right there. That's Wow, man. Yeah, that's fucking The nuts. fourth one in the middle. Yeah, she's fire. Fire pack. Shout out to lean B. Patty, man. All right. <laughs> we only had some white people shit, man. We got some white people shit. Um, but bluegrass music. I never really um um uh, booth boys or anybody. Um Chad, you probably know this, huh? So what what is like what's the difference between bluegrass music and country music and rockabilly and like what's what is bluegrass? The only thing I know about bluegrass is it was the setting like on, on a Casio keyboard when they had the pre <laughs> pre shit. You could just hit bluegrass and it'll play a dumbass beat. But yeah, bluegrass what is, is more like um a lot more like banjos and okay. fiddles. Um Rockabilly is more like, um, like, it's got more guitar, like Stray Cats kind of sound, kind of that. Uh, uh, it's hard to explain, but kind of fifties like bop kind of rock, mm -hmm. and then country is yeah, is I know, all I know, kinds okay, of different okay, things okay. right now. But um, so so bluegrass is um a Midwest thing. I think it's more of like an Appalachian kind of thing. Appalachian, what's uh, that? Like the like West Virginia. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Kind of like sitting around on oh, the yeah, porch like the whites of West Virginia. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ever seen that documentary? 
No. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh, you got to go watch that. It's one of my favorite documentaries ever, man. The Whites of West Virginia. They need to drop a part two. I mean, I think they did. Or whatever, man. The Whites. I saw the Whites, man. But, um, yeah, so... Um, <laughs> That sounded crazy, huh? <laughs> Shouts out to Whites, man. Yeah, the wonderful Whites of West Virginia, man. Yeah, this is one of my favorite documentaries I ever saw in my life. But yeah, them motherfuckers was playing the spoons and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas playing the spoons and shit like that. What's that shit? Niggas playing the spoons. Cool. The, dog, the funniest scene in this um in this movie, man. This is the funniest. This is a uh, dog. So it's one of them. She was like fucked up on drugs and shit, and they was trying to take her kids and shit. And eventually, you know, the state, they came through and took her kids, you know. So after they took her kids and shit, they riding in the car and shit. They decided they hungry. They want to stop at Taco Bell. So her and her sister, they're in the car. She in the pasture. She crying. And they at the Taco Bell drive through and they at the window. And she getting her food. And, she, and then she just tell the lady that's giving them the food, like, yeah, she just lost her kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she cried. Like, why would you just tell a <laughs> random person at the Taco Bell drive through she lost her kids? But yeah, banjos, um, banjos and shit, um, motherfuckers playing the spoons, washboards. That's all white people shit for sure. Um You never sampled some bluegrass? I mean, I would you could sample anything. That's one I mean, thing I, about sampling. You can you sample anything pray. to make some dump dope ass shit. So I yeah, I'll definitely fuck with it. Only thing about man, when you get to like those bluegrass records and shit, like sampling from those shits, man. I mean, you ain't really about to get too many loops. You can come up with a few sounds and you know get a few like open pieces here and there, man. But I don't think nobody looping no fucking bluegrass beats and making shit out of chopping. Maybe you can chop that shit up, and maybe do some shit. But yeah, man, that ain't um. Uh, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. You still make music every day. Me? Yeah. Fuck no. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could, man. I think once you get um, after you've been doing it for so long, man. I mean, I still do something that that has to do with me doing something in music, whether it's me listening to music, studying old shit, reading some shit. So I'm always doing something that has to do with my music and shit. But um, for the most part, me making music, man, it it really um, I'm getting I'm at that age now where I used to be like, man, I used to be able to go to the studio and like make five songs like a day, like it was so easy. Now nah, that shit take a long time, man. Cause you rap, man. When you rap so much, man, it's like, man, what the fuck am I to talk about? How yeah. many, how many times a motherfucker want to hear me rap about eating pussy and doing <laughs> drugs and doing some other shit? Then it's like, what the fuck do I talk about? So I gotta figure out, you know, some other shit. But I will say, I, I, I think um, the main shit with me right now, I just, I just really just want to find a new flow, man. So like me, as far as like just rapping right now, it's like until I just find shit, like I'm not really that. And then it's not a lot of shit that inspires you. It ain't too, been too many like like far as album like what what was your favorite album this year this past year that came up? Um, I like the Kendrick album. Oh yeah, of course. K Dot always yeah. gonna come through. K Dot was always. I think the best rap album was the JID album though. Oh yeah. Like, cause that album was so fucking good, I get jealous. Like that's how I know. So that's He's like, like, I want to get influenced like that that make me want to rap. Like, oh shit, these niggas coming like this. Ah. <laughs> and I feel like his album is the one album that made like as soon as I heard that shit, I hit that nigga up like, my nigga, you coming for niggas. So yeah, shout out JID, man. Yeah. I really man, love that album, yeah. man. You ever miss like being in your prime of rapping? Like you ever felt like there was Hell a time no, where I was broke as fuck then. <laughs> prime of rapping mean broke. I mean, I do miss um I only thing I think I really miss is um not having any expectations. Hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It's easy to put out a song when ain't nobody. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? So now it's like I can't, even with certain artists, you know, certain artists want to try to experiment and try to new shit and do that. And you know, your core fan base of so people, they be like, ah, oh, I don't like that shit. And I, like, you know, keep figuring it out. He's trying. So I don't know, but I'm still, I feel like I'm always experimenting, always just figuring it out. The thing is about me is just that I don't release a lot of music so much. And it's yeah. just a lot of time goes by. So I feel like I get people a time to miss me. Yeah, for sure. I feel like that's just what's happening. Rap, this is becoming a monetized thing too. I mean, you got to think, my era from, I hate saying that, makes you sound like a fucking <laughs> old ass boomer type motherfucker. My era, when I was, but no, we in a, I feel like the only thing I kind of think that's kind of different about rap music is that you can drop a dud. You can make some bullshit. 
Like, yeah. motherfuckers could, you know, they making so much music, the motherfuckers dropping albums every three months, every two months, shit like that. So they can drop some bullshit, then before you know it, you, you forget about it. They make some other shit. You get what I'm saying? Where before, like back in the day, you make one bullshit album, your career would be over with. Like, Hell ain't yeah. nobody checking for your shit no more. It's a rap, you trash. <laughs> now, you can't even redeem yourself. Like, niggas be like, no, you whack now. You made that album. Niggas are always talk about that album. So, yeah, man, I feel like that's the only shit. So, yeah, we talking about some rap shit. We got some freestyles. We do. Let me hear you bust a freestyle. Every week, man, I watch these niggas. These niggas torture me. First up, <laughs> we have T Mac. T Mac, Tracy McGrady. Danny Brown, oh. boys, what up? Say my verses are fatter, but I'm mad at you acting nervous. You the worst on the track, and that's for damn sure. If you be purposely capping to pull up in the black suburban, cut it up fast like my ass was a plastic surgeon. Said I'm working, I'm trapping, and you lacking, and that's for sure. Just cause I'm sure it was your girl that was her <laughs> ass that was twerking. Clapping it, working it, better run fast like these crackheads jacking the purses with the cash, dipping fast, and that's for certain. Hit up the dope man first, and gotta make sure we got the perks in. Cop the third D's and he skirt and T Mac for sure, putting work in, jerking on our skirt, same one you go to church in. No cap, never hold back. Like a lot of dough trying to hold that blunt road with the whole pack breaking down these lines hoes like where the blow at said no yo not for your nose that's a whole different thing gotta know that not talking about the coke talking about these lines up in my notepad you were so trash make me so mad make me want to leave you with the toe tag you can quote that <laughs> spent like four racks on that hoes ass wrote that in my notes app throw it on a beat and it's gonna slap oh you want to come through but you can't come like you want some prozac <laughs> Danny Brown, where my bros at yeah. This nigga in the military? <laughs> yeah, haircut's crazy. I mean, it's like in a Ukrainian war right now, man. Wow. Dropping freestyles wow. on the side. <laughs> what you think, man? Uh, should he pursue his... Uh, should, he, should he say, fuck this military shit <laughs> and pursue his career in rap? I don't know, man. Just like classic white boy flow. This cut to Zangief is crazy, though. The Zangief cut is crazy, though. I feel like if you don't have a certain look, you'll just never make it as a rapper. No matter, like... What I mean, it always been that. Yeah. That really, I'm saying, that really was, um, that what took me so long. Remember I was fucked up? I had missing tooth. I had motherfucking my nappy ass <laughs> braids. Like, I looked at horrible in the beginning. And I remember they used to tell me, man, like, man, you got to get an image. You got you to think, remember one point in time, like 50 Cent and all them shits came out. Everybody had muscles. Remember Eminem was even ripped up one point in time. Bust a rhyme. So it was like, I, I, I was trying to be a rapper during the muscle fade, the muscle era. That's what I'm gonna call it. That was the muscle era. Every rapper had muscle. If you had muscles, nigga, you was gonna get a record deal, man. And that was a crazy phase right there, man. I don't know what was going on in the early 2000s, man. <laughs> that Dave was like, nigga, if you got muscles, you gonna sell records, man. But oh, yeah. Yeah. so yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah. I cut. I did. Remember, I did that dumbass swoop haircut. I seen some crazy old videos, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, Young Danny Brown. Yeah, see, look at me. He's on some crazy shit. Oh yeah, that's really young right there with the uh, the uh, the Reddit one. Look at that. That was me in um, Detroit. That's in my attic. That was oh man, that was fresh out of jail right there. Uh, yeah, I was stabbing niggas right then. <laughs> see, I told y'all sometimes y'all see y'all y'all forget. Like I really was on some gangster shit. That was my gangster phase right there. Look, I was wearing True Religion jeans. I got some phone posits on, nigga. Come on, man. I got a young Jeezy poster in the background. How yeah, gangster can you be? How old are you right there? Oh, I was um, late twenties for sure, living in my grandma attic. Yeah, see, the other haircuts crazy, man. Oh yeah, so oh, yeah, right there. So yeah, man, I used to look fucked up, but uh, <laughs> you know, I gave my life over to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop saying that, man. But no, um, what did I see? Um, I guess you know when um, Christmas come around and shit. I don't know my um my YouTube. I, I was watching so many conspiracy theory shit. And then they was, uh, you know, talking about, uh, man, shots out Young Thug, man. Oh, my bad. But yeah, shots out Young Thug. <laughs> Have you been watching what's going on with him, though? Yeah, the YSL so case. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure you've been watching this shit. What you, um, you think he's about to make it out of this? Uh, No, I don't think so, man. Sadly not. Looks pretty bad for him. Um, Yeah, I would just say, like, seems like a lot of people were kind of like snitching on him. Prayers up for Young Thug, man. Young Thug is a nice guy, man. Great music. Man, um, I really feel that. Um, so now what's happening is, this is the scary part about that shit is that. Um, so you can have a rap crew, right? We got a rap crew. One nigga in a rap crew do some shit. Yeah. And now it's a, considered a gang, and it's Rico, and yeah, yeah. You when, can come in. You get what I'm saying? Like they don't even you have can to hit be with the Rico, bro. Because done. the crazy part about the YSL 
trial, like, you know, me looking into it, the, the worst part that I feel about it is they locked the merch nigga up. <laughs> you know about that? Yeah, like, he don't even know them niggas. He ain't really fuck yeah. with them like that. They just was buying t-shirts from this nigga, doing a wild sale mm-hmm. merch with the nigga, and they came and got this nigga and put him in the shit. He ain't got nothing. He was a college student that made t-shirts. He ain't never been in no gang, never did nothing. Like, he got his own. His lawyer was, he actually had a good lawyer, man, so I really hope he make it out of that. But... Just something like that. A motherfucker just buying merch. They're like, no, are you a gang? Because he was actually in one of the videos and he threw up Damn. a gang sign. <laughs> That's how they got him. He was in one of the videos and he threw up a gang sign or some shit. And they're like, no, nigga, look. You ain't just a merch nigga. You in the shit too. So yeah, shots out to merch nigga, man. Merch nigga shouldn't be going down. Merch nigga shouldn't be going down for crimes, man. That yeah, shit ain't I right, mean, man. It's fucked up, man. They're going to use all the rap lyrics and shit against rappers and stuff now. You know? If that's the case, man, so I'm going to use... um. Mission Impossible against top against Tom Cruise, <laughs> like nigga, I seen you jump off buildings and shoot niggas, like. So, yeah. you get what I'm saying? But I mean, yeah. But y'all have to realize, man. Um, this really what I feel like what happened with rap music. That's why it's so fucked up and crazy. Is that um, before it was like um, it's pretty much professional. Like you only could get a record deal. It was only so many yeah. companies you can get a record deal from, and. So now you just got kids that are just fucking, they ain't got no record deal or nothing. They just made a video on YouTube. The shit went viral. Yep. They blowing up. Them niggas are still in the hood. Yeah. They still on some street shit. They still hanging around. And, and yeah, then, they and no then you got them what to do, how to move or anything like that. And then they are getting record deals. But the difference before was that I remember back, if you was like two gangster, two street, you had so much shit going on, record label, a record label wouldn't sign you. They'd be mm-hmm. like, man, you... You know, because they feel like they fucking their money up by you going to jail or you dying or something like that. Now, that shit, that shit seem profitable. I'm almost <laughs> got a conspiracy theory in my record label. Like, goddamn, these niggas trying to wait for me to die before they drop my album? Damn. These niggas, it's like I'm talking shit. I love work, <laughs> man. Shots out work. But that would be funny. They're like, fuck that. We going to get this money back. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck that. Damn. We going to get this money back. So, yeah, man. They done locked up the top G. Oh, yeah, Andrew Tate? Yeah, man. Yeah, that shit's crazy. I will say, man, you know, because I, I watch a lot of YouTube commentary shit, mm-hmm. and I say it's really sickening that the motherfuckers that's like applauding another motherfucker losing their freedom. Everybody has fucking got their right to a trial and all that shit, man. The nigga ain't been convicted yet, man. You get what I'm saying? So I really feel like, man, uh, that's crazy when I see a motherfucker like, yeah, happy and shit. Like, bro, I know you ain't never been in jail before. You get what I'm saying? Like when motherfuckers like, man, I want to wish jail on my worst enemies. They say that shit for a reason, man. That's a, that's a whole thing, man. So, well, and it's like you're also kind of like hoping that these women actually got trafficked. Trafficked. I mean, I'm just not about the. Uh, to me, I'm 40 years old, so I get. I keep saying that I'm 40 years old, nigga, Sean Kemp. But um, so I, I get when people be like, man, you know, his message could manipulate teenage boys, you know. Yeah. On some wrong shit. I understand that. Like I'm old enough to to understand what's right and what's wrong. And to me, I took it's comedy to me. He, he's yeah, a it's funny like motherfucker. A, he's an entertainer. Yeah. He's a funny motherfucker to me. I don't give a fuck what anybody say, man. That motherfucker's funny to me. So he's, that's where I got smart, my entertainment man. from. And just watching him is just it's, it's entertaining. It's entertaining. So he's smart. So to see it's going down like this, man. I mean, once I guess you gotta go to trial and we'll see all the shit that come out and this and that, and you'll see what it is. So then I can really now if he was. Obviously, um, human trafficking or whatever, sex trafficking. He a piece of shit. But Texas is a scary place as far as that um, human trafficking and shit like that, man. And sex trafficking. I mean, why don't you stop talking about this shit? <laughs> it's getting dark, man. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. But I, um, I'm just saying, man, shouldn't no one ever be um, applauding someone going to jail no matter. I mean, unless, you know, until proven guilty. Yeah. You know, that's what I would say. Now, unless the crimes are like heinous, like some some EDP type shit. Fist bump, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some wild shit. Unless, now, EDP should be in jail, man. That's some weird shit from the web. Well, you know, like the most recent news about him, like he has kidney failure and all this shit. Yeah, I think he trolling, though. I, I think he's trying man. to make niggas feel sorry for him. You think so? I mean, he is I mean, a fat, nasty nigga, though. I would be surprised, bro. Damn, look at that. But I do think it could be like a publicity thing. No, I think he trolling. I think he trolling. I think he just want people to feel sorry for him, man. Y'all know who EDP is, yeah, Pooh he, Boys? He went outside, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Fist bump, bro. <laughs> Did you fuck with him before? Fuck no! Allegations? <laughs> Hell no. I'm too cool for that. I already knew this nigga was a creep. 
Just something about it, man. Like fat niggas like that. And a nigga just <laughs> eat that pussy four, four, five. I just took a shit in the Chipotle. I, yeah. I was mad, man. That's the see, that's the early days of YouTube. Yeah, where yeah. niggas like this can become famous. You get what I'm saying? Now look at what he doing. So oh, much money. Kid, me feel <laughs> <laughs> But no, uh, I will say, man, that is a, um that is one cool thing about your channel too, though. I mean, you talk about EDP and you talk about, but one thing you don't really fuck with, like you don't like make fun of like the low cow motherfuckers and shit. Nah, that's nah, where nah. yeah, I, I can see you got some um humanity. Nah, I think I used <laughs> I used to go way harder, man. But yeah, not like not me. Anymore. I'm beefing with this nigga Cyrex. This nigga, y'all seen Cyrex? He was talking big shit the other day. Nigga called me a one hit wonder. Nigga, I ain't never had one hit. What is he talking about? <laughs> Look, famous rapper Danny Brown says Cyrex has garbage music. Oh, I didn't say Cyrex has garbage music. Why they say I ain't gonna lie? Cyrex, he be stealing nigga songs. Fuck Cyrex, man. I actually just seen. You know who Cyrex is? No. Let me tell you, man. This nigga, the blind nigga. <laughs> we gonna keep. I'm keep bringing that up. He blind Billy, man. And it, um, blind Billy said that nigga. Um, this nigga blind in the dark. Blind Billy said he pulled his pants down, and started rubbing his genitals on his booty. <laughs> and then he did. This he, is the dude you got beef with. Yeah, I'm beefing with Cyrex. God I'm beefing damn. with Cyrex. Hey, but then the funny shit that y'all ain't peeped though. Remember I told you I'm trying to get him and King Cobra to square up. I want to I want to get the um the low cow boxing max. And I want um King Cobra and um That's crazy. King Cobra How do you even start beefing with him? Because I talked shit about him on the um, Matt and Shane podcast. And then you know Cyrex is a cloud chaser. JFS Cyrex is a cloud chaser, so um, anytime somebody mentioned his name, he's just happy that I know him. But shouts out Music Biz Marty, shouts out Burger Boy, shouts out William Glory Hall, shouts out MF Goon. So you want this dude to whoop his ass? Yeah, I want King Queen Cobra said he'll do it too. That's the last video I seen King Cobra. He's like, man, yeah, I fuck with Danny Brown. But I see that I whoop Cyrex ass. Hell yeah, man, because King Cobra don't fuck with sickos, and Cyrex is a sicko. But yeah, he. Blind Billy, how you gonna? Then he gonna. This the thing that fucked me up about the Blind Billy shit. They was, I guess they had a sleepover or something. These niggas in high school. He had Blind Billy crib. Blind Billy sleep. I don't know whatever. But they, this nigga blind and in the dark. He say Cyrex snatched his pants down, start rubbing on his <laughs> booty and shit. Then start banging him. I mean, Blind Billy. <laughs> blind Billy a little freaky too though. See, this is where it comes. You know, you gotta look at Blind Billy like. And Blind Billy like I only weigh hundred pounds. I couldn't really, you know, whatever. But Blind Billy wanted it too though. <laughs> but the fucked up part is, um, um, he sucked his dick. That's the fucked up part. He the blind nigga and sucked his dick. <laughs> Damn, that's that's fucking crazy. And then they had to go and to school the next day. They went to school. Blind Billy was like he could he could concentrate on his studies, man. He had to tell somebody, man. So he told. But the but fucked up part is Cyrex is a projector motherfucker, man. He um he gonna have a nerve to say Blind Billy tried to rape him. Oh shit! He, just, to he ain't even got no comeback. Him. That's his only comeback. And I, we, I just don't even get how even fucking this guy even got on your radar. <sighs> <sighs> Who the fuck is this? Um, Kiwi Farms. Oh, you're yeah, bro. <laughs> you're deep on the internet, huh? You're deep on the internet. Kiwi Farms. God, I damn. think uh, yeah, just Kiwi Farms. And then my algorithm is fucked because that's all I watch <laughs> is this shit. You know what I'm saying? Cyrex, King Cobra. You know, um, yeah. What the fuck? It's I've a never couple heard more. It's a couple. Oh, uh, don't jump down this rabbit. I mean, I've seen that guy. If you go up a little Chris bit, Chris Chan. Yeah. yeah, of course, Chris Chan. You know, he's a legend. Okay, she's a so legend. All these people are affiliated. I mean, all of them know each other. They end up once you a low cow, man. They just stick together Damn. some type of way, man. But yeah, man, Foodie Beauty, um, Amberlynn, all them, man. I watch all that shit, man. YouTube Damn, has man. become my TV. I don't even watch TV. Only time I watch TV is when I watch sports. Yeah, yeah, me you know, too. So, but other than that, I'm on YouTube and shit all day. I, I hate to say it, it's um, embarrassing. I wouldn't admit that in public. <laughs> I think I did. It used to be worse, man. Like you have a girl over, like you kicking and shit, and I'm watching some commentary channel. She's like, "What the fuck is this dumb shit you watch?" <laughs> nigga, how old are you? I'm like, hold up, man, check this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> throwing, throwing on commentary, saying Netflix. <laughs> but yeah, showing her some wild. luck. I, I love, um, but I do also love the. Um, like the documentaries and shit, like the um, like Internet Historian. And oh yeah, like um, Oki One and shit. Oh, there's some great shit on there. Yeah, so it's a lot of dope ass shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, I do watch the dumb shit. Like um, it's my favorite um, NPC Anarchus that do the um, Oblivion shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> With the Oblivion instrumental. So I do I do watch that shit a lot, man. So yeah, man. 
Yeah, shouts out to you too, man. I just really hope that um, you know, that they don't fuck up too much, man. That it 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 don't, cause I don't really see like you know a lot of these other sites coming up like the the rumbles and the. Nah, I don't think they'll come up because like YouTube has a monopoly on on uh, on AdSense and shit like that. Yeah. So it's it's super hard for these other, uh, you know, companies to do that, the and they, and they'll run into the same problems, man. Like. Robot streamer. Yeah, they'll run into the same problems with advertisers. Man. Oh, that should be racist shit, though. That's what yeah, <laughs> all you, the racist you go on there, it's all, all, yeah. all right shit. That's where all that shit at. So, um, so yeah, man, I will say, man, you should you should be real um, proud of yourself, man. YouTube. I appreciate that, man. Because for real, man, for YouTube real. is a hard situation to make it at. And if you ask any little kid right now what they want to be when they grow up, all the motherfuckers say they want to be a YouTuber, man. So yeah, to crazy. make it in that shit, man, that's, I think the numbers are slim. And it's getting slimmer and slimmer as the days go by, man. So yeah, man, you really fucking, you change, you know? Like, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, man. Yeah, so yeah. That's crazy. We about to get up out this motherfucker in a minute. Do we have um, No, yeah. We'll get up out this motherfucker in a minute, man. You want to plug anything or? Uh, nah, I just want to say, man, thanks for having me on. Give me this look. I never done anything like this before, so it was, it was really cool. Yeah, man. I think, man, you could probably get into some podcasts and shit. You ever? I want to, man. Yeah, I'm so trying to try and get a little like office space and like. So that's the next different... move. I don't know. Yeah, don't I got know. I got quite a few things like I wanna uh wanna do and like kind of get out of like the commentary space a little bit. And, yeah. Like, make my own shit. Hell yeah. So yeah, man. Your ass in Austin, man. We gotta hang out one of these days though. Yeah, for you gotta sure, show man. me around, nigga. You from out here, man? I don't know shit. <laughs> swear to God, but if my girl let me go outside, <laughs> so we gotta figure that out. But yeah, man, love y'all, motherfuckers. We up out this motherfucker, man. Happy New Year, y'all, motherfuckers, man. Set your resolutions, man. Do whatever the fuck you got to do, man. But um, yeah, get right. I, I said I was gonna start smoking cigarettes, but uh, maybe next year. All right, love y'all, motherfuckers, <laughs> man. <laughs> we out.